Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today, we're adding to a new dimension. It is the Aegipus dimension, 88 million BCB. But before we do, we still have the last colored gem to get in the game. There are four of them in total, and I'm missing one of them. I found out where it is, I just didn't really have any way to know that this was going to be it. So basically, there's a level way back in a previous dimension we have to play through and totally complete without breaking a single box, which also means we need to do it without dying because no checkpoint boxes. And that is going to be level Dragon On in Tranquility Falls. So we're gonna hop into that real quick and then we'll get started with Aegipus Dimension. I'll try it one time, I guess on camera, but if it doesn't work, I'll probably just keep trying it off camera because you guys have already seen this level. All right, so my first, oh gosh, my first instinct is to break boxes. I tried to jump over that and that's exactly why I'm like, I don't think I'm going to include too much of the footage of me getting this because it's just gonna be over and over again, trying to get through without breaking boxes. It's gonna take a lot of work. I think I have to jump off the bouncy one there maybe. We'll try again here. Um, and like I said, because we can't get any boxes, we can't get any checkpoint crates, which means we gotta do it all in one life and hope it works out. There we go. No, okay, there we go. I guess I don't have to reset the whole level. I could just die as well, so I might do that next time. <laughs> I'm just trying to make my way through though and hope for the best. Oh boy. And there was a, um, a gem like this in Crash 2, I believe, where there was a level you could play through. But the advantage with Crash 2 is that, I'm gonna turn, actually maybe I shouldn't, I was gonna say I'll, I'll turn him off by swinging him away, but I don't wanna risk it. Um, the advantage with Crash 2 is that it would tell you, oh no, oh no. Yeah, this is not gonna be too easy. Perfect, okay. That's gonna be really risky, but so far so good. With Crash 2, you can see when you're selecting the level whether there are hidden gems in it or not. And I, I feel like that was a big mistake not including in this one because it just means you have to sort of pointlessly poke around in every single level and there's only four gems across all of them. And since I died, I gotta start back at the beginning. Exactly what I was worried about. So there we go, it took me a lot of tries, but I got through that level and was able to get the blue gem. I don't know when the need to use it will pop up. We'll have to wait and see, but we're good to move on with the actual episode now. Okay, so now we're, like I said, for real good to get started with Agapis Dimension, 88 million BCB, Blast to the Past. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be very Jurassic themed, which I, I really like, I'm really looking forward to that. Whoa, this looks like it could be tough. But it's bringing me back to Crash 3 where we had all those classic um, Jurassic kind of theme levels there. We had the uh, Baby T and everything. I really like this, so hopefully we see a lot of that. Maybe we'll see, actually see Baby T today. And I can jump on these guys and I can bounce off their tummies and I guess there was something up there. Sh should I try slamming on them? There you go. I do not trust that. I don't think there's a way to break that. But we do have 110 crates, which actually isn't too much for this game at this point. I do see up there. Oh no, that didn't, that was weird. That was really weird. Do we have, we do have a tape, but I know this game works. I'm just gonna have to replay through the level, I think. Okay, so it was just a golden wump up there. <laughs> Maybe I should restart the level. I don't know, but we'll have to replay it anyway, so I might as well just leave it. Um, it's just a golden wump up, so I don't wanna worry about that too much. I'd rather just move forward, because I need to get to that guy for sure. Okay, ready? Oh no, messed it up. Yeah, it's very hard to tell exactly where it is in the air there. Oh, these are limited time. There we go, last one up there. Oh, I couldn't quite get it. Darn, that's awkward. Okay, we'll have to go all the way back then. Don't wanna get hit by those. Ah, oh, darn, that is really weird. Okay, run, run, run. Trying to ignore these. Yeah, oh, come on, I thought I was hitting it, but nope, I was just going away. That's really tough. Oh my gosh, poor Crash. Oh, there was a crate behind this, so glad I at least found that. That's a very sneaky one. I guess I don't even have to bounce off that guy, so there we go, we made it work. Just took some time. Um, Whoa, trying to make sure I check behind all this stuff as well, and there is definitely some crates up there. 
anything else. Not looking like it, so I will just keep moving. I, I did get Aku Aku from dying so many times. Oh, we got ourselves a vine section. We did just get a checkpoint as well, so as long as we can make it through this, just getting all the crates. That's what I care about, right? Oh, oh, ah, I wasn't supposed to get up. There goes my Aku Aku, but. I love how this level looks visually so far. Just all the trees, we're in the jungle, all the crazy plants and stuff is pretty cool. So let's do that, get up here. Oh, gotta jump around a lot. Whoa, what do I do there? So I guess I have to hang on and then swing to the right. Seems like what I'm supposed to do. There we go. Duck down like that. Yeah, it looks like, oh really, did, did I miss that box? That was a little weird. This level is certainly gonna be tough. The whole world's gonna be tough. The, the whole game is tough. <laughs> I'm not gonna expect anything different for this one. You know? There we go. And then turn, spin, turn, spin, there we go. No, I was supposed to jump over that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, see that time I got it. I'm just trying to pay extra attention to what's coming up, but when we go around a bend like this, it can be hard to keep track of what's coming up one. I do see this. As soon as we get it, don't care about the Golden Wampa. Either way, that's a checkpoint. I think we got everything. That was actually really good. Don't see anything up here. Oh, that volcano in the background. I wonder if we'll be making our way over to there. Oh, and here's the tape. So that's how far I need to make it out here without dying once. That's gonna take some work, for sure. Oh, that was a waste of Aku Aku. Really, was no crates around there? I guess not. I mean, we're fairly you know, a fair ways along here when it comes to crates, because there's only 110 of them. A little more than a third of them now. It just seems like lots of stretches of area here without crates, but maybe that's why there's less than normal. Oh, here's a checkpoint. Might as well give this a try then. There's 23 crates here too, so might be a bit of a challenge to get them all done, but we'll find out. Now I have a feeling we want to leave those for later. Okay. That is oddly just not much time at all. I probably just have to immediately, or maybe I have to use the TNT to explode it and be in a better position. I think that's what it is. Okay, so do that. Well, that's not what I wanted at all. That's weird, that's so weird. Um, Let's try again. I don't know if I'm not doing that right or what. There we go. Whose face is that carved on the tree over there? Is that one of the masks or is that like Papu Papu or something? Hard to tell. So not exactly what I wanted. Ah. Yeah, I don't know how to time that because you can't really jump off the TNT crate without hitting that too. It's weird. This is a very difficult thing to choreograph. But I'm just trying to start the TNT. That doesn't even explode the checkbox. Huh. All right. Then that's sort of the weird issue, right? Is I'm trying to land on those in time, but it just, there's not enough time. I mean, me, do a, what are you talking about, game? What was that? I don't know, this one's really tough. That was one of them broken. Maybe I'm just gonna be fine if I do that. Come on. Oh. There we go. So I was just supposed to be quicker. Luckily, these ones aren't time. But it looks like I will have to go back. I would like to save that for later, but I suppose I should have maybe done that better than I was supposed to hit that first. Okay, now I know to do that. That's much better. Okay, so I think I need to hit that one, go back over this way, break all of these along the way. Um, Now, don't, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if I break it, I just need to not break the boxes that would make available. We're gonna break these for sure. And I'm gonna break these on the way back. And how do I get back up there? Oh, just like that, okay, I'm fine. Wow, that disappears so fast. But I got it, okay. Not too bad then. Glad I got that last little part done on the first try because I just didn't want to do it all again. Now we're more than halfway through with everything for sure. Oh, and we got the time slow crate. And I got a quick mask. Hmm. So I see what we gotta do here. First hit that. Um, Let them all retract. Whoa. Oh, the platforms are gone. 
Okay. And now they're back. So I guess if you stand on them for too long, they explode. Let's figure that out. Hit the Yaku Aku. And this is still here. I think they try to cast you out with that one. You gotta make sure you double check back there. Now with that, oh yeah, that's right. I, I totally forgot. This can break Nitro by just standing on it. Which is good to know. It may mean that there might not be a Nitro crate by the end of all of this. Okay, gonna bounce off of these pretty well. Oh no, it's gone. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, awesome. So I guess hopefully there will be a Nitro Crate. Now this I'm a little scared about, but I got it, okay. Still trying to keep my eyes up to make sure there's no like hidden crates way above, because they like to do that a lot in this game. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to try to... Hmm. Yeah, I can't quite get it to work. All right, I guess I could. I just wanna make sure there's nothing on top of that. Doesn't look like it's a super slam, boom. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now this one's a little tricky, but we got it, we got it. There we go. Ah, oh, that made me lose the Aku Aku, but we're doing really well. Really well, actually. Um, That's 99 out of 110, so we just need 11 more crates here. There's another. And I don't know if we got a checkpoint or not. I don't think we did. Okay, whoa, was that, that was the hidden gem, okay. Let me die and restart that because I definitely want to get the hidden gem. And no, we, we started back here. So that's actually really, really good. Got that one. We can jump across right away. There's crate 100. See, what we gotta do here is jump. Got it, jump. Got it. Ooh, that's crate 102. Now we can jump down like that. Oh my gosh. Actually, <laughs> a little too late, but I had to sort of float over, not float, but like hang. There we go. Okay, so I know what to do now, I just gotta get back out there. Um, we don't, oh no, we do, really, I was gonna say. We, I always think we gotta fill up that meter, but we just have to get it to the third part. Ah, uh, there we go. Got it, getting back up, and let's see if this is gonna be enough. That's 106, was there four crates? Yes, there was, or four nitro crates. Awesome, so at least we were able to get that done, all of the boxes, all of the um, lump of fruit. We just gotta go through it again uh, without dying enough to get both the tape and that gem. So I'm gonna try that again. All right, so there we go, I got the tape. That actually wasn't too bad. First try through, still haven't died. So as long as I don't die three extra times after this, I'm fine. So yeah, the, the second time through this level is actually much easier. So that's a good sign. Hopefully the rest of the, the uh, world is like this, but I, I'm not expecting it. Okay, there we go. So actually not bad. Was able to get all the gems in this level without it being too much of a pain. We still would have to get more to unlock that skin. So I don't know how many more skin showcases we'll be able to do for the main portion of this walkthrough before we go and replay through the entire game again, but we'll find out. Um, for right now, heading back to the dimensional map, I guess there's been sort of a lack of cutscenes as we go on. I've been sort of like waiting for them to see if they'll show up, because I know that like there was a lot of story stuff last episode with Cortex. Um, oh, and there's our space to go to the flashback tape. So we'll do that now. Of course, we got started with the Coco ones last episode. I'm gonna continue those here with the engine interview. Oh, I guess, I guess this is where engine gets hired, because he was an in crash one. That's super cool. Before we do, I might as well check out more Coco skins if I have any available. Um, Totally tubular, I don't think we checked out. Either way, we'll hop in with that, see how it goes. Engine interview. <laughs> it just, my I know how to pronounce it, but my brain gets confused. But yeah, these have been tough, but not as tough as the main level, so we should be okay. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, so yeah, it just, this is probably happening, you know, either, yeah, it's happening during Crash 1 which is crazy to think about, but also pretty cool. Uh, I really want to hear them talk. It sort of thinks that they get cut off when you're, if you die. Maybe I should stop playing at those times so I can hear them. But uh, yeah, I guess Engine is getting interviewed for his position as Cortex is sort of next lackey. There we go. Ah! Oh! 
I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of a ceiling, but I can't touch it. Oh, okay, okay. I don't, I, do, I really. Uh, uh. Now, I gotta remember that as long as I can survive the nitro, I gotta explode nitro at some point for all of this. I'm sure there'll be a nitro explosion crate. Once I get there, it'll explode most of these crates for me. I only need to jump on the ones that, A, are definitely too far from the nitro to be exploded, and B, the ones that'll make me most conveniently get to where I'm going. This one's really tough, though. Okay, I made it. There we go. Um, let's keep it going. I'm a little nervous about this. We'll let him talk. He's not aware of the rocket in his head? Well, that's an interesting fact. Oh my. Um, okay, I made it in here, and it looks like I gotta jump off this thing and then survive. Okay, um, wow. <laughs> gotta be careful of that. So far making it really well, though. Oh. Oh, and we just gotta get down there. But easier said than done. Uh, oh, I gotta go quick. Oh, I gotta go really quick. Well, sort of. There we go. Okay. Oh, I see. Um. So we'll have to come back. I guess I'll do that. No! No! I didn't time that very well, did I? Oh gosh. There we go, got it before it burned me, but we're not quite done. I need to get up here, and then that gets rid of all of it, but as you can see, these jumping crates still exist. Um, You know, I, I don't need to do that anymore. I can just jump over them. Let's not make this risky. And is there enough? There is enough, so let's get through again without dying, please. Okay, so I have to do it here. We got it, we got it. There we go, plot and completion and everything. Good job, Coco. Okay, that was not easy, but we, we made it through. We're gonna continue with that. So we're gonna go back as Crash in the Aegipus dimension and move on with the next level, but I'm glad that we're making progress with everything with Coco and the uh, the flashback tapes. Pretty cool to see. Um, let's keep it moving. So the next level is over here. This is, oh, is this a Cortex level? I think so. Aegipus dimension, 88 million BCB fossil fueled with a little Cortex symbol next to it. I do wanna quickly change Crash's skin if we can. I don't think we ever tried the run it by you. Oh, that's so fancy, I like it. Okay, so we'll do that one, and we'll hop in and see if we can't play as Cortex, that'd be awesome. Oh, here we go. Let's see how these prehistoric predators like my blaster's new settings. This is crazy, I get to play as Cortex. Oh my gosh. So now we have like, what, quite a lot of playable characters, Crash and Coco, Tana, um, Dingo Dial. So he doesn't have a double jump. You gotta keep that in mind. Uh, definitely makes him different from the other characters in that way. Not as platform viable, but he has a ranged attack, which will surely be useful. Um, I'm trying to find out if he has any other moves. Doesn't look like it. we have 101 crates to get out of all this, so I'll do what I can. All right, nothing up that way, so we're just gonna blast that. <laughs> Don't even need to activate it. Blockify target, ooh. <laughs> they laughed when I added blockification. Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> there we go, that's so interesting. So we can just turn them into blocks. Blockification as he got it. Wow, um, and they all get turned into blocks. Now they just stay that way forever, I suppose. Dash, whoa! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Not falling over doom just yet. And we found the hidden gem down there, nice. So I guess he can dash forward, good to know. Can't turn you into a block, unfortunately. But we can explode nitro. Definitely gonna be worth it to pay attention to that then. There's dinosaurs everywhere. This is so cool that Cortex is just joining us on the adventure. Oh boy. Gotcha, you're a block now. Nothing up that way. Gotta time this just right, but there we go. So there's lots of nitro around. And I guess it'll play into some stuff. 
gelatinized target. Whoa! Yeah, you can say that again. We that's cool. Let's go ahead and get rid of all that. So yeah, Cortex has a lot of cool moves to him. He can gelatinize enemies, he can turn them into blocks, he can dive. You have to be careful about there. Hmm. That's not good. How do I get over there then? That's a little weird. Maybe I actually need to shoot him while he's up above so I can just shoot past it. Because I can dash. <laughs> I'm being silly no matter what. I think there's a better answer to this. Hmm. There we go. So, much better. And what I'm a little curious about now then. Yeah, there was this one over there. Got it. Now there's a couple of other crates, but I think I can get to them later. I wanna make sure we're filling up this Wumpa meter, so do everything I can for that. Bouncing off of that, dive forward. So he actually is quite movable in the air, just not in the same way. He's more of a horizontal mover than a vertical one. Just crash and Tana and Dingo Dog can all double jump. There we go. So I wonder if there'll be any more playable characters. Is this really gonna be it? I'm not sure. But I'm really happy with the turnout so far. Will that get it? Uh, not quite. But this will. Okay. Let's turn you into some gelatin. And that's not quite hitting the crate. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Pretty good moves. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, he turns into a little devil. Instead of Crash and everybody else, it turns into little angels when they fly up. Interesting little uh, attention to detail there, I like it. Okay, trying to find out exactly what we're supposed to do here. I think I definitely want to turn you into Jello. Boom, get that. Whoop, oh, we just barely made that, that could have been bad. Definitely another platform like that here. So can I turn you back into a normal bot? Oh, I can even turn you back into an enemy for whatever reason, I'd want to do that. Definitely a stressful level, lots of cool stuff going on though. I guess that the biggest perk, turning him back into a, an enemy is if we need to like reposition him. Well that seems to be everything. I've never tried a volcano lair. Do good guys oh. have volcano lairs? Hmm, much to learn. Oh yeah, that's right, he's trying to be a, a good guy. Well, I hope it turns out, buddy. Turns out well, buddy. <laughs> All right, um. Did that get him? It got him. Now these ones I probably don't want to be bouncing. I don't see anything worth bouncing, bouncing towards. That's a tricky little thing to do. Cause you can't really pull back once you, you start charging. So it's hard to decide like exactly where you're gonna land. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot that guy. Oh no, we were supposed to turn him into a bounce. Why was he the only one I messed up? There we go. We're fine, we're fine. Nice, charge, got it. <laughs> On second thought, no volcano lair. I can feel my nostril hair sizzling. Okay, yeah, maybe not a good idea then. Cortex, okay, I was just trying to land in the goop. Don't know why everything has gotta be so difficult. But definitely, charging through like this is probably a better idea. Got the checkpoint and, well, this whole rock is like, not rock, <laughs> this is a tree, is all sizzled open. Wonder what's going on with that. Hmm. We gotta be most of the way through the level though, I'd imagine. Is there any hidden crates back here? I'm trying to be careful with that. You actually fire quite often too. Oh, watch it. Yep, bouncing off from that. It looks like I can't get to the other side of that tree from here, so we gotta go around. Whoa, got it. Nope, <laughs> don't quite got it. That charge is a little weird, but we can make it work. Anything up that way? Doesn't look like it. So a lot of platforming challenges here still. I, left the running overnight. <laughs> I love all of Cortex's different stories. Okay, got that. And then I just sort of want to get that guy out of the way. I hope that was a good idea. There we go. It's really nice that you can turn them back into the enemies. Now that I understand the perk of that, I really appreciate it. And then we can jump up this way. I don't think there was anything more over that way, so. So far, so good. We're closing in on that 101 crates. 
Whoa, whoa, I was not prepared for that at all. Ooh, so that would have been falling to my doom. Happy I didn't do that. Oh, and we're back. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it made a gem sound because we got the Wampa Gems. But there we go, no, we missed two. Where are they? Oh, I don't know. Darn, that really stinks. I have to replay through the level and not die as much anyways, but where could I have missed two more crates? Not sure, but good job, Cortex. Oh, watch it. <laughs> Made himself dance. Okay, I'm gonna try again. So I think most of the crates I missed were from ones where I didn't even realize I could turn it into a bouncy thing. So I'm just trying to get those now. I think I found one earlier. I'm not really sure if that was it, but it's not quite working. Okay, now it's a little bit higher up. Um, I still can't get it. Weird, I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> I gotta be able to get it at some point. What is going on with that? Yeah, I don't know, it's being weird. All right, so there we go, we got it. I guess it must have been those boxes that were overhead that I was able to turn into a platform. So just make sure you're doing that right away. And I don't know if I died at all, but I died not enough. Oh wow, that was the insanely perfect relic. Awesome, didn't even realize. So there we go, we got the level 100% done. Honestly, not that tough of a level, so woohoo. All right, very cool. So let's keep moving it forward and see what's going on next. Not really sure if we're gonna get a cutscene here, I guess not. But uh, yeah, Cortex was able to help us. He's a good guy for now, he's on our team. Let's see if it stays that way. I feel like this could just be a scheme from him. But, ooh, is this really the final level coming up? Oh, and there's a Cortex level back there we can go back and do. Cortex timelines unlocked. He started a foe, now he's a friend. Experience Cortex's point of view. Excellent, so we'll probably go back and do that in just a few moments. It looks like the next level is gonna be Dino Dash. So Dino Dash does have a tape for us, so we'll have to worry about, but you know, we'll just go into it and hopefully we get that tape. On the first try, maybe? Eventually we'll get it though. We'll just have to keep trying. But yeah, this is Dino Dash. Will this be, will this where be where Baby T pops up maybe? Cause I don't know. I've been really hoping for him to pop up. It'd be cool if maybe he's like older. Maybe he's not Baby, baby T, he's just T. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Cause they had Polar, we, we we were able to ride Polar on last episode, which was so fun. We haven't seen Pura yet, which is a shame, but I'd really like to see Pura at some point. These levels, loading screens are really, really long, by the way. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Crash is very well dressed for this area. Well, we got 159 crates to get through and none back here, okay. We'll be doing our best to try to make our way through them and not make any major mistakes. Yeah, so far this area has been a lot of fun. It was still really challenging, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. Maybe there's still another level after this, because uh, that's how the previous world caught me by surprise. I thought we had reached the last level, but it wasn't. Oh, the jump on the dinos, oh, that's so cool, I love it. Those were, uh, are they Stegosaurus? Maybe, I'm getting the names mixed up. I'm always so bad with names. I, I do it with Pokemon all the time. I know which one it is like in my head and could like describe it, but I just don't remember the name. Anyways, oh, look at this, Lani, I think, yeah, I think Lani Loli or something like that. Okay, so let's make sure we're getting as many of the crates as we can. It's weird that this little mushroom pops in and out of his existence, but sort of like it. Keep that like that. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Cause we gotta jump, switch, all sorts of things. There we go. We got one coming up. Got us. Whoa, there is a T-Rex. I don't think that's Baby T. Baby T was like a green color. But oh boy, is he, is he gonna be chasing us? It is Dino Dash after all. Oh wow, oh, these make me dizzy. I think that's supposed to be a little bit of foreshadowing, letting us know what to be prepared for in a moment. Oh my gosh, whoa. Come on now, come on. Got it. Nice. So I gotta hit those. Uh, got a bunch of nitro to avoid. Very cool looking T-Rex, I wish I could admire it more. Go, go, go. Not bad. Whoa, we were running really fast there for a second. Oh, so that's gonna be something. I guess we'll be replaying this level after this because there is some sort of, uh... oh, what was that about? It seems like, 
Oh, there is. Oh, I got it though, awesome. But I guess there'll be some kind of thing to replay through the level because we had somebody support us there. Who knows how? Very interesting. Maybe it's Tana, or it could be Cortex again, but I would be weird if there were two Cortex levels in the same dimension. There we go. I don't know if that was the best idea. Oh, that almost got me. We haven't seen the tape yet, but I've gone all the way to this point without dying a single time. Like, we're doing really well. Let's see what's going on off to the side. Oh, lots of stuff around here. I think that falling here. Now that looks like baby T in the background. Look at the baby die. That was so cute. Oh, I love it. And they're everywhere too. Hmm. Okay, I see. I need to swing like that. We'll sort of let that do its thing. Okay. Same deal over this way. We have 38 crates to get in this one. Dude, that's quite a lot for a bonus area. Oh, you know what? I think I do have to go back. Yep. Hit that one. So it's important to you know, take it slow, time everything correctly because there's a lot of going back and forth and I don't want to risk getting taken out by the crane. Got it. I think this is the last one for over here. Yeah, all these crates popped up. All right, wow, what do we do there? Oh, I see. Uh, one more time. Ah, oh, darn, that is, you have to be so fast with that. That is crazy. There we go. See, that's all I was trying to do before. It's just super tough to do that. Now here, I'm just not even gonna worry about those. Explode all that. Go back like that and boom, slam those two. Excellent. So we got all 38 crates there and we're still at zero deaths. Look at all that Wumpa Fruit fill into the meter. Got the second gem out of it. Still looking for the tape though. I hope I didn't like miss it. Oh gosh, okay. Didn't know if that was gonna hurt me because it's spiky. Oh man. Now it's a whole horde of dinosaurs chasing us. Oh gosh. There we go, there we go. Ooh. No, I missed that one. It's okay, I think he'll get it. Yeah, he got it, he got it. Oh, this is intense. That's good. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> get that guy out of here, and him. More nitro, don't really care about that too much. Ah, oh, that really got me. I'm trying to go as fast as I can here. Poor Crash gets all chewed up. Not what we want. So I guess no mixtape this time, but that's sort of the weird thing. Where is the mixtape then? I don't know. Okay, get the double right there. I mean, I'm sure that the dinos would get it if I didn't, so it's not the, the biggest deal, but you never want to be, you know, too reckless <laughs> like that. Okay, so I guess I made it this time. That's all I had to do. Whew, tough stuff, but we can keep going. Looks like the T-Rex is actually turning back now. I wonder where he goes. Sort of curious. Can we see him just like continually walk away? No, nah, he's gone. All right, well, that's fine. So we're at 132 crates, about to hit a checkpoint right over here. And there's still more, it seems. Ah, oh, the tape is here. That is such a crazy distance to make it without dying a single time. We almost did it too. Anything around here in terms of crates? Not really looking like it, so we keep moving forward. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so there's all of our Wumpa fruit we need. And then I can get up like that. I'm really hoping that we've gotten every crate so far. This is not gonna be an easy level to replay. Oh, he's back. Um, okay, yeah, there's plenty of chances to. Will you destroy those for me, buddy? Thank you, okay, great, great. <laughs> I just wanted to make extra sure before I move forward. Because if not, it's not really worth it. Oh my, oh my, dive under that. Whoa. Oh, wow. He's quite good at jumping, but not good as, as good as Crash. I can just barely get a cue on where I'm supposed to. Wow, that was a leap. <laughs> it looks like he was just barely able to make it, but I was not because of that. 
Okay, I know he's gonna be able to get those two crates then. Yep. We just need 10 more. Actually, less than that now, because he's breaking the nitro for me. I'm trying to keep an eye on that. And I guess it, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get every crate I can. Yeah, I guess maybe slide jumping isn't always the fastest thing to do in this game, which is definitely different from the other crash games where it was always the fastest option is the slide jump. It's not as fast here. There we go. Sorry, buddy. I feel bad he's falling in the lava. Poor T-Rex. Gonna become a fossil under all that. And that was enough. That's gonna get us the gem. So no baby T. That's sort of a shame. But hey, we made it through. Level complete, we got the ups and downs trophy, which is pretty cool. We didn't get the hidden gem though, so I have to find that and get the tape and the three max lives. So let's give this another try. Whoa, whoa, I got caught there. Uh, oh, there's the hidden gem, okay, right there. <laughs> awesome, so we also got the flashback tape, so we're in the clear. I just, ah, I need that not to happen anymore, okay? I need to not die two more times and get to the end of the level. Okay, level complete with all gems unlocked and the flashback tape. Really happy to see that. So let's continue. It seems like there's still, oh, whoa, who's this? Wake up! Ah! Ah! My goodness, if it isn't Lani Loli. How are you, brother? Uh, sorry to interrupt, but existence could end at any minute, so can we hurry? <sighs> When's existence ever done anything for anyone anyway? No! Oh, don't mind Grumpy Gus. He's always a downer. Yeah, don't mind me. I don't matter. Nothing matters. Now that we found Ika Ika, that's all for. What's next? We can't close the rifts until we stop whatever's opening them. That would be entropy and his precious Rift Generator. Sounds like it's time to kick some entropy butt. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. So it looks like we are going uh, to beat up entropy. That would be a good thing to move forward with, but we did get a new mask there, Ika Ika, I think it was. And I guess we can walk up and down on the ceilings depending on the, in the situation. What's going on? Whoa. So is this like the last world? It might be, whoa, is that? Oh my gosh, that's uh, Nitrous Oxide's uh, ship from Crash Team Racing. And there's a Dingo Dial level. Okay, so I, I am curious what we'll be playing next episode. It'll be Bermugula, you, Bermugula's Orbit. Yeah, because Nitrous Oxide will say like, your soul is a Bermugula slug. Something like that. That's so interesting. Can't wait to tackle that next episode. But for right now, it looks like we can do Rock Blocked. Um, maybe I'll let that simmer for a bit because we just played that level a lot. I don't want to get burned down on it. Let's go back and play the one Cortex level we now have. Um, and that was over this way. So let's hop into this Cortex level. Ooh. Very chilly. The bandicoots are en route. I must reach the spot. <laughs> So yeah, I remember now. So these were the levels. Oh, I can't jump on that. Oh yeah, why would I be able to? <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work that way. Um, yeah, this is the level where we first run into Cortex, right? Or one of them. And yeah, he was sort of causing havoc there, but then he exploded the one ship. I pressed the wrong button. He exploded the ship and that was a whole thing. We could hear him cackling about it. So that's what this one is. Pretty cool. Uh, I already know, <laughs> just from remembering the level. Yeah, this is before he decided to now be a good guy. There we go. So we have 176 crates to get in this level. Quite a demanding amount, so I'll be doing my best with all of that. I have a feeling that it might be a bit of a challenge, but I do see you right there. But what's over here? Whole other set of things. There's no, oh gosh. Huh. So I think I should go around and do this part first. I think that I'm just not gonna worry about the live thing. We'll do that next time. Um, or maybe not, this is like a little maze. I don't know where to go first. Uh, let's go down here. Break those two a little bit. Bounce back over. So maybe it would be a better idea to do this. Okay, well I did it. Oh my. Um, I guess I'm supposed to, yeah. 
Oh, I can't believe I did that. That was awesome. Hmm. And there's more blocks up there. So I guess if I could just... Yeah, that's way too far. And I can't quite get up like that. Hmm. Maybe this will just give me enough air time? Oh, it will, okay. I like how it is a little twist on... Oh wow, here's the hidden gem. The, a little twist on the Cortex soundtrack. Or always like, you know, like whenever we were at different parts of like Cortex's castle. That's what the song is sort of like a twist on. I like that. And I think that's everything on that light. This is certainly a tough level. Gonna take us a lot of effort to get through. Oh my. Get rid of that. Now we can dive across. There's a lot of nitro coming up. Have yourself a bite of bandicoot stew. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, it's just really cool to get even more context behind some of these really awesome characters that I really appreciate. Ah, oh, that was weird. Let's try that again. It's weird that I, yeah, it just, he just does not jump very high at all. And that certainly is a lot to get used to when I was just playing Crash and Coco and stuff. Bounce off of that, dive over. No, oh, I can so land on that. I know I can. Maybe I'm not supposed to. I'm not sure. There we go. Much better. Okay, there's nothing over there, so it definitely isn't worth landing on it, but oh, here we go. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> just a few more steps and you'll be Bandicoot Bandicoot. <laughs> Too soon. And that's what makes it explode. Gotcha. I thought he like fired a missile at it or something. I didn't even see the TNT. So will there be a crate up here like there was last time? It doesn't look like it. I fell to my doom. Very embarrassing, but I do want to make extra sure. I, I really don't like how they did the camera angle for this part because it's just hard to tell. But yeah, most of our crates, we should definitely check to see if there's any back here. It's weird that you can go this far back. But I'm not seeing any crates at all. Yeah, all the enemies are back. I can't go any farther back than that without the, uh, the mask, so I guess all the crates are gone. A lot of them I'm hoping are just going to be nitro, and that's why we just haven't had any, me or had many yet. We've had a, a decent amount. There we go, now I got the slow down mask. And go for it. But of course, the rest of this level should still be a little bit different one way or another. Oh, that could have been bad. And I guess that's all of the mask that we get for right now, but we do get a checkpoint. And I don't know if I'm, I'm too worried about uh, getting the Wumpa from that. I do want to see what's back here, because last time there was a uh, a crate back here, and this time there is too. So far it's seeming pretty similar, but I can't exactly remember if you know this right here or something is different. What? Why did why did that happen? That was weird. There we go. Can I make it back this way? Yes, I can. And then a bunch of TNT over here. But yeah, no hidden gem this time. Instead, we got all of that. Whoa! Oh my gosh, too much momentum. Too much. Definitely get rid of that guy. Then the flame crates. Whew. Once again, I wonder if that's Penta Penguin over there. Has the purple scarf and everything. I wonder, ooh, where is the... Ooh, you know what, let's try that again. There we go. What else is up here? Anything? Doesn't seem like it, so I'll do that for now. But I'll have to come back anyways. So I'll worry about those other crates in a second. Should I get the checkpoint out? I think it would be worth that. Grabbing the checkpoint, go into the waterfall. Where is this exclamation mark crate? Right here. I was thinking that, but wanted to be sure. That was gonna be a lot to, to sort of go through now. Starting with us. Oh, there's more. Darn it, really? Maybe I should have gotten that one before the, the uh, checkpoint. Okay, I'll get it now. There we go. 
But yeah, I guess there's more than one exclamation mark crate to hit here, so we gotta be extra careful. Got it. Now let's grab this one. Now these blue ones are like extra slippery, is the thing. It should be okay though. Now we got all these. Yeah, I'm just going to try to bounce through like that. And that should get us up to 76. We got this lady again, I forget her name. And go for it. Anything up there? Not really. Okay, sorry. You just have to be really diligent with this stuff. So I'm trying to make the most of everything. Ooh. There we go. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be a problem too. Yeah, before they even really technically show up. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And then as all those platforms fall, I can hit this one on the way down. I just wanted to make sure. It's very easy to sort of get smacked by the bottom of those if you're not timing it correctly. And then they drag you all the way down. Much better to spin those than to jump off of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're really doing it so far. Got it. So once again with the nitro here, as long as the nitro gets exploded later on, which it should, I actually don't have to worry about getting that crate at all. Um, I would really like to have, oh, the platform now. I don't know if I'll make it. Oh, I just barely did, that was great. Anything up there? Not looking like it, so we'll just knock that down. Oh, spin him. Oh, and he hit a crate too, thank you very much. And another checkpoint, there's still so much more to this level. Got it. Now where does this lead to? Okay, okay, not much, not much. Hmm, whoa, I'm trying to land on that, but <laughs> just was not letting me line up. Oh, that was pretty good. Now I just gotta get rid of this guy, hit that one. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> yeah, that should be fine. Oh, and there is something happening here. Now I don't have the, the slowdown at the moment. Oh, did I seriously fall there? That was such a silly mistake. I think I could have gotten them all in time if I didn't do that fast. There we go, come on, come on, got it. Now I do know these few crates back here, but, hmm, what do we gotta do next? I think we do gotta go back. So let's wait for this boat. Yeah, there we go. I'll land right here. Oh, maybe a mistake. Oh my gosh, I just barely made that. Ah! I don't know if I'll make this, I'm trying. Jump off of those, land off of this guy, bounce off of that too. We gotta get this, so. Oh. So this boat's back over here. <laughs> Somehow we made all that work. If I could get a checkpoint now, I would really appreciate it. Oh no. There we go. We do have Aku Aku here helping us out, but you know, if I don't have to, I'd rather not. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, we got it, look at this. We actually got the triple Aku Aku. I think this is my first time getting it in the entire game. Isn't that crazy? I've been playing it through for how long now? <laughs> We've put so many hours into the game. It's my first time getting Aku Aku. And we got all the gems. Thank you very much for that. That makes me happy. All right, level complete. We just have to play through again and not die more than three times. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. All right, so as you can see, we got all the gems this time. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, it only takes usually one extra playthrough of it. So I'm glad that we got that done. I think that now we're gonna go and do the mixtape that we have, then the bonus, was it Dingo Dial level? Dingo Dial, Ton, I think it was Dingo Dial. We'll do the bonus Dingo Dial level and then we'll be done. Awesome. So yeah, let's head back over here. Oh no, did I go too far? I guess it doesn't matter. I can just do it right here. So let's see what this one's gonna be. Uh, flashback tapes, nitro bounce crate test. Nitro bounce? How exactly are they doing that? I don't know. Is this a new type of block? That looks like a new type of block there. Weird. That'll be fun to try. It's weird that they made all these different crates that weren't introduced. 
until now, tactically, or ever. This has never been in any of the levels. Yeah, it gives us like an extra jump there. Uh -oh. This crate has a secret surprise. So Cortex had this and then just never used it in Crash 1, 2, or 3. I mean, could, couldn't have used it in Crash 1 because this is sort of like happening at the same time, I suppose. But in Crash 2 or 3, he did not use that. So that's just sort of weird to think about. Either way, we have 164. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Um, 164 crates to break here. How do I get these? That doesn't seem right. What? Oh, they turn into nitro. That's weird. I didn't even realize that before. How am I supposed to do that? I guess I'm just supposed to bounce off of it with that one. That's so weird. So I'm guessing I'm going to want to jump off of them all the appropriate amount of times, because if not, they won't turn into nitro crates. Interesting. That definitely, oh, okay, adds a lot more work to it. <laughs> It is now just a, a more work intensive level. But I will break that and then pop off like that. Very good. I'd like to stay away from that one. Because I skipped out on a lot of these before. <laughs> Makes the level a whole lot slower, but I guess it's still worth doing. Okay. Breaking these three shouldn't be a problem. Gotcha. Now some of these, as you can see, are on a limit of two instead of three. But I guess that means there probably won't be as many crates as expected when it says, um, whoa. Ah, oh, darn. Um, when it says 164, because a lot of them were not exploding, a lot of them will be nitra. So I gotta make sure I jump off of that appropriately. And that's where everything gets so complicated. Because I can bounce off of this stuff, then I gotta land right here, and then big jump, definitely get these two. And then I think that would be enough to explode those two crates underneath. Let's hope. Uh, there we go. Okay, that should be good enough. I wonder if we're coming up on the end at all. Probably not, but I really don't think this one's going to be as long as I'm anticipating. I guess we'll find out. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. Even, oh, that's weird. The fact that touching it from the bottom counts there. How do you do that? That's a weird jump. All right. Oh, that is super duper odd. Um, oh, I don't know how I got so lucky the first time. I guess that works quite well. It's gotta be a little bit more rhythmic with it. Darn, I just don't see how you could get through to that because it's not gonna destroy three blocks. Why did I do it this way? <laughs> no. That's a dead one. But it looks like this might be the last tape that takes place in 1996 on the bottom right there, December 24th. So it's the day before Christmas. Wow, interesting. Not the way I would expect to spend the holidays is jumping on a bunch of new nitro crates, but hey, that's Cortex's interest, not mine. The subject's hair has impressive volume and shine. And that bounce. <laughs> I wish to try whatever pet shampoo our furry friend uses. My follicles are simply decaying. Yeah, I guess he is sort of balding, isn't he? Well, I say balding, but he's had the same amount of hair since the first game. So I think that he sort of reached a stopping point with it. Either way, we're just gonna keep bouncing around here. And now this one's tricky because we need to, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I did it right, but then I just, oh, I didn't rebound correctly. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, okay, I did it, I did it. Come on. Wow, that was not really the way I was expecting to get that done. I am curious, will this explode that? No, okay, so the, the only thing that'll really affect that is me jumping on it, so focus on that first. Oh, oh, wait! How? I guess this is not the way I'm supposed to do it, but I can be really tricky with it! Oh, oh I panicked and I spun when I shouldn't have. Okay, not too bad. This is the farthest we've made it. Don't exactly know how I'm supposed to do this. 
Okay, um, what I think I gotta do, it's really weird, but, oh, this is so odd. I definitely need to break these. And then, pop down this way. Oh no, but I'm supposed to hit those multiple times? Really? That's so weird, because I can pop this, but then those aren't broken down there. And then I have no way to break them. Yeah, because the, huh. And that would have definitely been the rest of them. I'm not quite sure what you do there. Okay, there we go. All right. Got it. Ooh. And that's all of them, 164. Ooh. That was that was certainly challenging, but we got that one done. That last little bit was so confusing, but I'm glad that we, you know, we were able to figure it out one way or another. Um yeah, we're ready to go. Let's move to the next thing. So that means we only have one more level left to tackle, which should be the Dingo Dia level. So hopefully that's not too bad. Okay, so the last level today is going to be Rock Blocked. Um, Dingo Dial's taking it on. And of course, this will lead to, I guess, whatever broke the, the, the stone so that we can get away from the dinosaur that first little chase. So this will be interesting. Ah, uh, all right. Gotta be another one of them shimmery things around here. You know, you're not lying. <laughs> That's probably true. There's more shimmering stuff, I'm sure. Uh, I love seeing the dinosaurs just doing their dinosaur thing. They don't really care about us. 317 crates to get in this level. Oh, do I have to use this just to knock that over? Pretty cool. Got it. So we'll definitely have to be diligent and just try our best to get everything. But I think for right now, if we can grab that, launch it right over there, pretty cool. And what about those? Would that actually make the jump if I were to, or make the launch? Whoa, I could barely make the launch. There we go, that worked. Pretty good, pretty good. Now one more time, let's go back. Sometimes out of all games, the art style of this game reminds me of Sly Cooper. It just, I don't know, there's something about it that feels really similar to me. There we go. Um, And I guess I'll vacuum these up a little bit and get a launch one right over there. And was there anything to the left? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, let's jump on the dino heads. Ooh. Okay, we got another one over this way. Gotta do our best with this. Got it. Now, is there any reason for this one? I don't think so. Oh, more baby dinos. They're so cute. Oh. Okay, that doesn't do anything. I'm like, why do I have to do this? I don't see anything. Oh. Maybe there is something to see. Ah, oh, and that fell. I was not expecting it to fall like that. That's a little weird. Oh, and I can go all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> okay, that broke that one. Oh no, uh, let me launch it out of the way. I need to wait for the log to come back. Then we jump over here. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, oh, okay. Now this is probably a mistake, but I can, oh, <laughs> we made it, we made it. That's all I need. Can we please find a checkpoint somewhere around here now? Especially now with the secret gem under our belts. Boom, get the checkpoint, spin you away. Oh, we'll get an Aku Aku over this way too. Looking good. Yeah, I don't quite know what we we'll use this TNT for. Oh, I guess just right over here. That did not do good enough. Oh no. Oh, I just barely made that jump. <laughs> that could have been bad. So I will have to come back. I do see those crates over there, but I just want to make this first. Oh, that's scary. So one more time, do all of that but hopefully this time be able to just launch that over. Got the four crates. Definitely have to avoid those little toxic bubbles. A couple of crates out this way on the lily pads and stuff. It's a toxic little river. Don't wanna land in that. I'm glad we have this, uh... whoa, Aku Aku, I said it so too soon. Ooh, so you gotta watch out for where it bubbles. So the bubble's right there, and that's where the bubbles pop up. Okay, break all these. It's weird that even Dingo Dial, as big as he is, only 
breaks one crate at a time. And there's another checkpoint for us. So, so far, not too bad, we're at 86 crates. Plenty more to get. Ow, and I got taken out there. So we can only die one more time if we're trying to get the uh, the one gem, which I don't know if it's worth worrying about. Come on. I feel like the trajectory changes every time. So it's really hard to dodge that. Okay, get him. Got him. Oh, and he got rid of that crate for me. So I just have to worry about getting across. Now there's a whole timing thing going on. Oh no. Whoop. Got it. We're good. Lots of crates to get here. Hmm. Nothing up that way. And when this beetle turns around, because the front of them is all thorned up, definitely don't want to mess with that. And same thing here. I don't think we can actually land on him. Not if we want to turn out okay. And I don't think there's too much of a reason to bring another one of those explosive crates with us. Ooh. Got him. That's good. Oh my. Yeah, avoid the nitro. <laughs> and avoid the beetle. Uh. Oh, ooh, that didn't hurt me. That's good. Guess uh, Dingo Dial has like some extra armor to him. But what's down there? We got some extra crates. Yeah, I don't think I can vacuum those up, but I, I made a good move going down like this. Okay. So I will have to remember to go and do that again if I have to reuse the checkpoint here. Luckily, or hopefully I won't have to. Oh, whoa, hold on. There we go. Oh, big jump. Once again, I don't think it's a good idea to hit the nitro with the vacuum. No, I, I pressed the button though to hover. It didn't work. Now, yeah, I gotta go back. It's not too big of a deal though. There we go, it almost didn't work again. But it did work. That's all I have to worry about. Lots of crazy platforming, but not too many crates around. That's what I'm really looking for. <laughs> he always says that whenever he sees this portal, but so far it hasn't taken him home. Oh yeah, this is where the rocks fall. Uh oh. Oh, better get out of here. Oh no. Oh. Oh, just barely made it. And there we go, that's where we come in. We gotta complete the rest of this level. We still have more than double the crates to get though. There we go. But definitely the crate layout has so far already been a bit different, especially with these timed ones. Oh no, oh darn. So I gotta get those within that time frame, but also not get hit by the bubbles. Okay, if we move quick, it seems to work out quite well. Awesome. Oh, yeah, so far we're storming through this. Now I do have to be careful because we actually, oh, we got the bonus stage. We haven't gotten too much of the Wumper Fruit for the three gems there. Oh, this is way different. How are we doing this? So obviously we need to get up here to hit that one. And it's fine that it's TNT because I don't think I'll have to come back. Yeah, I don't have to come back this way at all. Hmm. But this is a little weird to say the least. It sort of smacked me downwards. What's going on there? This is not your typical bonus level. There's 42 crates in total to get. Hmm. I think what I gotta do is I gotta time my jump and then land on the flame crates. That'd be ridiculous, but certainly possible. Yep, I gotta do that. But how do I get back down? Oh, be careful, Crash. Can I just... Okay, there is enough room to sort of sneak by. Then I can get these four. I'm definitely, like I said, gonna get all the Wumpa fruit this time, because I wanna make sure that I'm filling up the Wumpa meter. Oh my. Oh, why did I even try? <laughs> there we go. Now, I'm hoping that was a good idea, because it's what I did. What do you, whoa, okay, I didn't even realize there was a platform there. Oh my. 
Uh, okay, let's just separate ourselves from that. Oh, there's so many crates. So many crates. Boom. And then I will, ooh, that was almost bad timing. 42 out of 42, we're good, we're good. Not too bad then, I'll gladly take that. Gonna give us almost enough one prefer for that second gem. And that dino chase is about to kick up again. <laughs> so I'm a little worried about that. Or also, yeah, also, also all the other dinosaurs. There's Aku Aku. Whoa, boy, that nitro. Come on, we got it, we got it. It's interesting how they will make, you know, the same level feel fresh in that way. Sometimes not perfectly easy. Oh gosh, I'm getting stunned. This is not a good sign. And I don't think it matters if I have an Aku Aku or not if the dino catches me. So I need to keep moving. See, that's what I was saying. Doesn't matter. Okay, so it looks like we made it this time. I think they got rid of some of the extra crates for me. Oh boy. And I'm gonna have to replay a lot of stuff here just because um, we died too many times, but I think that'll be fine. I think playing through this level again without um, any crates back here, nope. Uh, replaying the level, but just not having to worry about the crates will be fine enough. Okay, ready? Boom, jump. Oh, almost died there. Just one touch from that bubble is all it takes. You're done after that. Okay, yeah, I gotta spin that, then I gotta go through, land on these, much better. And once again, we're pretty close to the end of this level, and I still don't have the rest of the Wumpa fruit I need, so. Gonna have to take my time here and make sure we're jumping on all this. Gotcha. What? But why? That's not normally how that works, but okay. Either way, we gotta make our way through all of this mess now. This should be the last dino chase, I think. Whoop. Wow. Yeah, hitting these crates while I'm jumping through the platforms moving through lava <laughs> is quite the multitasking experience. Oh boy. Oh, so we made it this time. Have to hit all of these. They'll all pop up, boom. I hit this, and those are my last two right there. And we did get enough Wumper Fruit for everything. Awesome. So there we go. All we have to worry about is um, going through again, getting the life gem. All right, well, that should be fun to try. There we go. Okay, so I just barely did that. I died three times, but that's enough to get the gem. So I'm happy to say we've completed all the levels in this area. Took a lot of work, but I'm glad that we got it done. That was one of my favorite areas yet, not just aesthetically, but the levels were fun and not too challenging. They were pretty tough still, but not too challenging. So that, that's fun. Next area I'm really excited for, it might be the last area, it might not, I really don't know anymore, but I do know that it looks cool and we might be taking on Entropy. So yeah, stay tuned for that, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye bye.